without us. And it's great to see here the unions, particularly Unison, Unite, to see the Filipino Domestic Workers Association, to see Maganti International, to see the Greens and, and, and many others who've come here to support this. I'm really proud that I've supported this event from the very start. I was actually involved in the foundation of the Filipino Domestic Workers Association and I'm really proud to be associated with them and all the work that they do. You know, I'm also proud now to be in a Labour Party which has once again become the party of migrant welcome. If you remember, when Jeremy Corbyn was elected as the leader of the Labour Party just about three years ago, the first thing he did after his leadership campaign was come to this square and speak at the refugee welcome event. And I'm proud that he and others have helped to change the narrative within the Labour Party about how we engage with migrants. Because it's been a scandal that we've had within our media, within our main political parties, within parties like UKIP, the BNP and others, that we've had such negative comments always being made about migrants in recent years. And that has got to change, and Labour is now committed to changing it. I'm, I'm so glad to have been selected as the parliamentary candidate for this constituency, the cities of London and Westminster, where about 50% of the re residents here are migrants. And we celebrate that. We celebrate all the people who are living here and are working here in central London. And we're also going to be making changes. When Labour get into government, things are going to change. First of all, let's make it very clear, that we, Labour have made it very, very clear that we will guarantee the rights of all EU citizens to remain in this country. Secondly, we are going to repeal some of the nasty laws that the government have brought into play. Not least the way in which migrant work, migrants have been criminalised in this country. With the 2016 Immigration Act, now if you're caught driving, if you're caught renting property, if you're caught working, and you are not a documented migrant, then you are going to be put into prison and you're going to be immediately deported. You know, that is disgusting. That's a disgraceful way to treat people who are making a fantastic contribution to our country. There are very few countries in the world that criminalise undocumented migrants in this way, and it's shameful that Britain has become one of them. Because we've been historically a country which has been a place of migrant welcome and as mentioned earlier, much of the success of this country has been built on the labour of migrants. Yes. Let's be clear as well that we're going to repeal the um, pernicious um, marriage visa rules which make it necessary to earn ridiculous sums of money in order to bring in your spouse into this country. We're also going to be making sure that we end domestic slavery in this country. It's unacceptable that we've got migrants working in this country who are being are victims of modern day slavery. That has also got to change. So I'm proud of what we've achieved so far in changing the narrative round, but things are only going to change for the good if we get a Labour government into power. I want you to please help us do that. We need to get people registered to vote. We need migrants registered to vote. We need to make sure we turn out the vote, that we elect a Labour government, and uh, that starts with us all making a contribution today. So, once again, I'm proud to be with you. Uh, it's not just one day without us. We're every day, we're going to be with you, and we're standing with you in solidarity. Thank you.